Welcome back, everybody. We've got more 1v1 action here at the TI4 Solar Mid Championship. It's time for Resolution versus FY. FY, the Vici Gaming support player, taking on the Solar Mid for Team Empire. Not many Prepare supports for battle. in the 1v1 tournament, Ben. Not at all. And, I mean, some of the support players are supposedly very good at 1v1. But Resolution, let's talk a little bit about him. I think most people already know a lot about FY. He is the Asian sensation. He has just destroyed so many players in one-on-one -on -one in both... It, it, just around around the world. I think he's reputed yeah. as the best 1v1 in the world, even though Ice 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 did claim the title at TI3. But Resolution, he hasn't played too many 1v1s. He's a relatively newer player. Empire, they're, we've only recently risen to um, some fame. Yes. I yeah. think uh, ever since Starlighter Season 9. But, I mean, they've been like laying it low since then. Vlat was telling me, like, he predicted Resolution to win it. He may be biased, he's a Russian caster, and obviously uh, Empire Resolution, a player uh, from, from the CIS region. Um, but he said Resolution last night was watching some replays, checking out... For uh, 1v1s? Yes, he watched, wow. well, he, watched, he checked the Summit 1v1 and like how they, how they were played, and he also checked the WPC 1v1, or like one of the Chinese 1v1 tournaments, and... Vlat's like, he just said, oh, this FY kid is going to be easy. So that was Vlat, Vlat talking about what he said. So I don't know exactly what was said. But uh, we'll get things underway here. FY the on the Radiant begins. side. He's going for a very different item build. He's got a decent amount of bonus damage from all these items, but also has the HP region of the Tangos, whereas Resolution, pure damage output and stats coming out from the three branch Null Talisman. It's pretty unusual for Pucks to go for double mantle over a Null, just because you simply don't gain that much from it. And the yeah. plus three strength, the plus three agility, and the additional plus three damage is just too much to ignore. And he spent, what, 400 gold on this? That's extra 70 gold, he could have gotten a lot more damage. The only God. thing he gets out of this is starting with Tangos, but Resolution, he can bring Tangos as soon as he gets, like, one last hit, so... It's not really that big of a problem for Resolution here on the Puck, so... Yeah, eh? Both Pucks starting with level 1 phase shift, no surprise here, but... Looking at... in terms of aggression, I think FY has been very, very aggressive in the 1v1s, though. Okay. Well, we'll see how he does here. He is, uh, sporting that new Alliance Puck set. The Orb of Reminiscence, which actually has the million dollar coil in the orb, if you, if you zoom in. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty cool puck set. Resolution, on the other hand, he's playing the, the poor man's puck with no, no cosmetics up his sleeve. So, we'll see how he does. FY with a, a big advantage just in terms of cosmetics right now. But at the same time, losing in terms of CS, and Resolution still has creeps to slay. He is three creeps, there's three more creeps on the field for yeah. him to slay than uh, FY. So I don't play with many well. CS though. Like, we're looking at three CS to one CS right now. Like the denies effectively don't matter. Like whether it's a full deny or just like a you made the missile last hit, like the experience difference is quite it's quite small. Yeah, I would say it doesn't matter that much in puck versus puck. I think in other matchups it matters a lot okay. because level six is extremely important. Like let's say Lena versus Lena in round number two. But for this one, yeah, the experience is very minor and inconsequential in the end. Yep. Resolution uses a tango. Gets a bit aggressive there. Does take a couple of right clicks, but uh, so far, nothing. Neither player getting a lot of last hits. That's really the crazy thing we've seen in a lot of these matchups is the players are prioritizing harass as well as making their opponents miss last hits over getting their own last hits. That's because of the format of it. One one kill, one death means all you had to do is force the opponent to you know miss a phase shift once or you know, do something silly one time, miss skill perhaps, and you can easily win. Yep. So they're not going too much for the, okay, let's just farm up, get my bottle, damage. bottle crow, get my magic stick, and then play defensively. Not too much about that life. A DD rune picked up by you Resolution. So he didn't even have vision of the of where the rune spawned, but two minute rune, a DD, and that's going to guarantee him a, a decent amount of last hits off of this. So this puts FY under a bit of pressure. He's going for a fast bottle. Bottle crow is allowed, and... Having hit already level 4, he's got 2 in the orb, and he can just use the orb to farm if he needs to. Resolution pulling far ahead in terms of CS, too, and looking at the skill builds, nothing unusual. 2 one, one coming out for both, I think that is the standard uh, at level 4. At level 3, it might be one 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 or two zero one, but that's what you'll see most of the pucks get. Unless you want to pull a surprise and go for a one three one like Ice Ice Ice, but that's a reserve for very special situations. Yeah. As it stands, like I think FY did a good job of not taking too much damage when he, when Resolution had the DD rune. He phase shifted. A I, I, I think Resolution could have bullied him out a lot more. Yeah. And even Resolution didn't even like completely shut down the CS during that period. Like he's ahead 15 CS, 16 now to eight, which 
is a big lead in all, but it could have been almost worse during that DD rune period. Oh, he's oh. got the courier! One more right click, he may die for this though! FY, he's made a big, big mistake! Tower last he gets jaunted, but the bottle is not gonna be enough. First blood! Now, it's made it. not to me. What's this? He's, his eyes just lit up. Substance. He saw that courier, went for it, and gets Dino punished. Victory. Too close to tower. Playing yeah. with fire, literally. And even if, uh, I mean, I guess if you get right? it, yeah, shoots little fireballs. If you get the courier, like, doesn't necessarily win you the matchup because mm. even if he gets away there per se, like, he's on 20 HP, he's got to go back to Fountain. So. Well, four minute room was very close to spawning, so it, yeah, it wasn't. If it's like a top, it wasn't the worst play. <laughs> uh, no, it, it was. Yeah, it was very all inish though. Like, if he if he gets away, finds a room. But at the same time, he, he was pretty far behind, so. Yep. I don't know if that's sort of risk you want to take, but he deems it worthy and he will pay for his life. So right. on to match two, Quap vs. Quap. FY dominated in the Quap vs. Quap. That was against Excalibur or the one I, against... He also, he also think, played Funnick yeah. in the finals. So. It was against one of those players, but okay. he just dominated that one. Alright, well we'll see if we can do it here against Resolution. We've got Game 2 coming up after a quick break in the TI4 Solomon Championships. Don't go anywhere. Resolution oh, no. has a, T a Premier League set and... FY has the deck that was set. The Tear of Agony, and then the legendary Wings of the Ruby Web. Those are pretty difficult to get. Cool cool shade. Anyways, going back to this game. Skill build. Usually you'll see Shadow Strike at level 1, but occasionally you'll take level 1 Blink for more utility, for chasing down runes, for Blink dodging Shadow Strike and making your opponent get behind on mana, for chasing in case they extend too far during a creep wave. So Blink's more utility, Shadow Strike is just, hey, I want to kill you, and it does take a little bit of finesse. Um, so we'll see what they go for. I think FY battle. got Shadow Strike first last time in the 1v1 that I watched. Resolution opting for actually no region, and FY with one yeah. set of region. I think region is actually very important in this one, much more important than the Puck 1v1. Do you think it, it's it's it's, a, it's so important that you start with region? Yes, or you, I think so. Okay. So because, you can't just get some last hits and then bring it out. Right, we saw Dendi die in like a minute and a half because he didn't yeah. avoid one Shadow Strike early. Yeah. And if you don't get any region, I think you have to go blink or you have begins. to have a far superior block. So let's see if Resolution can pull that off. He's got Shadow Strike and he's on the Radiant side, so getting the better block from the Radiant side is tricky and Shadow Strike level 1 has been committed to. As for FY, he's also got the Shadow Strike, so we'll probably see both players just trade Shadow Strikes right off the bat, although Resolution... He is a, he's having a really good block, but so on, is FY. Yeah. Uh, looks like FY are just how already. F Resolution! Uh, wow, what a block. That is an insanely good Ooh. block from Resolution. That's impressive. Yeah, I mean, he, he it's slightly on his side. FY has to go down the hill to last hit the range creep, but very impressive stuff. <laughs> Doesn't get the last hit here. He wants that first last hit or two as early as possible, because that's going to be his tango. So like, as soon as he gets that 125 gold, uh, he could just wait it out if he doesn't get last hits, but ideally he wants it before then. Neither player going for a Shadow Strike just yet. FY can't really go onto, towards the high ground for it. Resolution, on the other hand, gets a free Shadow Strike off without any trade, so that's a, a good start for him. But FY has a regen to compensate for this yeah. mistake. But again, it was all on that block. Had Resolution not had that block, FY would have been able to bully him. And FY actually... Ooh, doesn't have I mean, Blink yet. Yeah, he's not level 2. Resolution perhaps could have pursued there. Almost, yeah, like, like you say, pursue Blink onto the high ground. If he'd known, why? Well, I mean, he does know FY is not level 2. Could almost be considering going for that kill, but now he's just going to sit back. And <laughs> Tango's do come out. Yeah. So can... now they're almost at exactly the same HP, both around that 280 mark. FY, surprised he's not eating up his Tango's. He needs to top himself off as soon as possible, but looks like he will buy a Sal for this. And I like the change that no rune will spawn at zero minutes. It makes things a lot easier on both parties. And less. Oh, nice dodge. Jeez, so quick on that. And that's really important. It sets him back 50 mana relative, and it's also on cooldown for a very long time, so resolution is free. And yeah, F he, FY didn't even have a blink there. Yeah, he, cops, he does have the extra bonus regen here, but once again, he's being outlast hit. And Resolution went for the 2 1 0 build, too, so this is a heavy damaging Shadow Strike. FY needs to get out. Blinks to the high ground. Resolution could have blinked out. He is going to do so. FY is going to be dead. This is going to be a second First kill. Blood. Resolution My 2 voice. 0 is FY. First it was all, go all goes Just back to the blink little. dodge <laughs> yeah. on the Shadow Strike. And also, FY, I don't know why he didn't skill 2 1 0 2. If you're actually going to blink in for a Shadow Strike at level 3, you probably should have a second. Well, that's two it. upsets in a row. Resolution, we're in the semi-finals. I mean, RTZ taking down... I don't think RTZ Dandy, either way, I don't think it would be an, be an upset. The, the other one. The other two have been, yeah. yeah. S4 taking out Ice Ice Ice, the returning champion, and now FY knocked out 
It does go to show that the actual mid players are winning though. Like here, resolution, mm -hmm. uh, more phenomenal block player. though. Yeah, uh, phenomenal block. Whew. Well, two two zero. Fy is knocked out. He's won some one v one tournaments uh, in his time in China as well as at the summit at our event. And uh, we'll see him through to the semi-finals. And uh, he'll be taking on the winner of Mushi and Ferrari for 30. Who do you think is going to win that one? I think Ferrari. I think Ferrari, Ferrari too. too. We Quite confidently Ferrari, but who knows. We also thought FY and I Ice, Ice though. Yes. I, I was, I thought, uh, like, before I talked to Vlad, I was like, yeah, FY is going to easily win. I talked to Vlad and I was like, okay, maybe this could be a good match. But this was just a, this was one-sided. This was a stomp. Mm -hmm. So, fast games here in the 1v1 tournament. Very fast games. Well, that does it, guys. I'm God Me was Merlini. We're the, the the other game is going on concurrently. Oh, yeah. If you want to watch that, Liquid versus CIS. Is it game one still? Oh, did it end? Oh no, no, no. It's it's still going. Anyways, uh, tune into that, yeah. that stream. Check out the uh, the main stream, or you can follow all the action from TI on twitchtv slash dota 2 ti It'll be bouncing back and forth between whatever is most exciting going on. So, guys, stick around. We'll have Mushi versus Ferrari 430 after a short break.